To this day, some people still believe the crosses were the cause of the many reported healings. Is the divine really at work in these windows, or is there a way to explain these mysterious crosses? Now, almost 20 years later, I'm heading to yet another part of LA where this miracle continues to appear, but this time in the window of a non-Christian. I've come to Mar Vista, a racially diverse neighborhood in West Los Angeles, to meet Mohammed Zanatabash. A while back, Mohammed discovered a cross of light in his bathroom window, and he's convinced it healed his son of a rare blood disease. The cross is still there, and Muhammad, who was raised a practicing Muslim, still believes in its miraculous powers. Can this cross really heal? And how did it even get there? Mar Vista is a tiny neighborhood, only a few miles from the beaches of nearby Santa Monica and Venice. Named for its views of the Pacific Ocean, the area is also known for its post-World War II ranches and bungalows. But just like El Monte, it's inside an unassuming apartment complex where I find Mohammed and his wife, Clarita. Mohammed? Hi, Flavia. Flavia, it's a pleasure yeah. to meet you. Nice meeting you as Thank well. Thank you so much. Yes. So tell me about this cross of light you guys discovered. When did you discover it and what's the whole backstory? It was in 1988. We had just heard in the news that these crosses of light are appearing all over the place, starting with the uh, El Monte. We kind of went ahead and checked the bathroom windows and no sign of it. <laughs> no cross. And then their six-month-old son came down with a rare blood disease and began bleeding internally. Muhammad and his wife began to pray. Within two, three days, these bruises on his body gradually started to kind of getting lighter and disappear. What was the yeah. doctor's response to that? It, it, they were dumbfounded. But Muhammad had a sneaking suspicion. One night I came home, uh, it was maybe around 12.30, 1 o'clock at night. Just like something telling me, go check the bathroom windows. There it was, and that was kind of uh, really uh, astounding. That was very, yeah. very. Yeah. Yeah. Did you immediately think it was the cross that had healed your son? Well, there's a connection there. And since we uh, found out that there's a cross, I checked every single night. And the cross night. has always been there? Yes. So I would love to see this cross. Let's go well, check yeah, it out. Sure, sure, yeah. Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> right there. On the left <gasps> pane. Doesn't even look like it's yeah. right on the window. No, it, it seems appears, like it's up in the sky or something. Right, coming. it appears in, uh, in me there. There's no mistaking it. This is a cross, and I can only imagine what it must have felt like to see it after Muhammad and Clarita's son was healed. I can see how both of you guys were very overwhelmed. That's amazing. I think so, because the neighborhoods that uh, these crosses have appeared there has been drastic changes in the neighborhood. It's a, definitely a positive thing. Could there be a scientific explanation for these glowing crosses and the healings behind them? To find out, I went down to Cal State Long Beach to meet with Dr. Alfred Long, a physics professor and optics expert. I wanted to see if you could show me if there's a scientific way to explain what I saw, because okay. to me, it seemed pretty extraordinary yeah. and hard to explain. Using three different glass samples, Dr. Lung begins his demonstration. So I'm going to illuminate this with a laser here. So that's the laser beam hitting the screen. So what I'm going to do is just put uh, this piece of glass to intercept. You see that oh, wow. cross? The cross is there, whether Dr. Lung uses the laser or a regular bulb. Actually, that's, wow. This is really mm -hmm. similar. If a direct light source is pointed at the glass, it will always create a cross pattern but the other glass samples don't show the cross. Why not? When they make this glass, they, they put in a slightly different pattern. Each pane has a pattern ingrained in the glass that we can't see, but when lit up, the light illuminates this pattern so it can be seen from the other side, reproducing the miraculous cross. That's the thing that I still don't have an answer to. Mm. People talk about when the cross of light is in their window, they feel healed mm. or the energy feels different. Mm. How do you explain that? That, I don't know. Dr. Lung had no trouble explaining the appearance of these crosses of light, but even he couldn't explain the healing of Muhammad and Clarita's son. It's clear that some people believe that these crosses can heal, and it seems just seeing a cross can be enough to create a miracle.
but I've heard of some stranger sightings still, and they're popping up all across the country. To non 